banner off the back of these th first three wins. How, what's the mood been like in training this week? Hopefully a good one. Very good, very good. To be honest, we are impressed with our guys, with the, not only with the mood, but everything they are putting, uh, all the effort and all the um, uh, commitment day in and day out. Uh, all these days, all these weeks uh, since we started working together uh, have been very exciting. And uh, another great week of training. I think that's going to be always helpful to have a great performance this Saturday. You've talked about things like non-negotiables and hopefully you haven't had to kind of uh, crack the whip so far because it seems like everyone's just doing as they're asked and uh, as they're expected. Yeah, yeah, I think that's, that's the key. I think that the team is uh, not only gelling on the field but off the field. I think the uh, identity and the excitement is growing. The confidence is also growing. All these ingredients are very important so we can keep performing well and improving. I think the improvement has to be always there. Uh, the season is long. Um, we had uh, very good circumstances so far, but we are also challenging. Uh, uh, we are facing challenging uh, moments with, with quite a couple of injuries, which we believe we will, we will be fine on, on the long term. But uh, we also know that this is going to be a hard, hard test for us this Saturday. It's going to be a hard uh, season. And as we move, uh, move forward in the next couple of weeks and after the FIFA break, uh, the schedule is going to become very, very busy. And we, we have to be very strategic moving, moving forward um, in, in the season. And before that break, of course, as you say, you know, we've had three games so far and I'm, I know that you won't let the team pat themselves on the back and feel content with what's happened so far. You're going to make sure they stay humble and, uh, and yeah, make sure they're fully focused to try and make it four out of four instead. Exactly. I think that we, we always say we have only one day to celebrate. That day is the, the perfect day to, to enjoy the, the success. But next day you got to start working as nothing happened and start working towards the next game. And that's the, the attitude we had uh, so far. And I, and I love the spirit that we have and built in, in the team. And I'm, again, excited, but also cautious. And I want uh, everyone to be on the same page in terms of the of the commitment in terms of the readiness to, to perform and, uh, and also in, in some moments uh, uh, go through the challenging, challenging um, um, situations, which, which is the part of the game and we, we will be ready for that too. Is that a big part of a life as you as a manager and your coaching staff of um, like sort of managing the, the mentality of the team, making sure that everyone's focused? Is that a, like a big focus for you? Because I guess that's what makes the small differences on a Saturday sometimes? No, it's uh, maybe for, for we, maybe we have to repeat ourselves, but we have to repeat ourselves. That's how it works. We have to be always sure that the message uh, gets across. Uh, we have to be sure that uh, what we said is understood the way we want to be uh, understand. And um, we, we always have to, at the end of the day, we have to communicate. We have to scan. We have to uh, always be, uh, always read the body language of, of our players and not only the body language, but also the words that they are saying. I think uh, it's very important as a coach, as a coaching staff, to, to communicate well, but also to be a good receiver and understand the communication from, from our players. And that's, that's something that uh, it's, it's a never ending process. And that's something that uh, how well you actually do the, this part is going to determine the, the, the final outcome. You've touched on those injuries we picked up against Cardiff, a bit of an unlucky situation. But the one thing that you mentioned right from the word go we hear about was uh, encouraging everyone to be involved and kind of keeping everyone in the squad engaged. and. That hopefully, you know, if we do have to replace some players, we'll pay dividends. You know, you kept made sure that everyone's involved and, and, and yeah. knows what's expected and, and ready to go when they're called upon. Yeah, I'm happy that you raised that question because I think uh, right now we have to be very, very uh, aware and very grateful to the guys who, are, who didn't participate that much. But every time they had the opportunity, we didn't even notice that there was a substitution made. So this is something that one, we still want to uh, see from our players. And as we said uh, from the beginning, everyone is important, everyone plays the role and everyone will ha have the opportunity. Uh, it is just you have to be ready for the opportunity when the opportunity comes. And, um, and, uh, and we are very excited to work with this group. Fantastic guys. 
on Watford specifically. There's still got a lot of players that were there when they were in the Premier League, so you know it's going to be probably about as tough a test as we've had so far potentially. Yeah, it's a, it's a, another test, another test, and it's going to be another test after this test. So we know that this is one of the uh, the best teams uh, in the league, contenders definitely for for the. Um, um, promotion spots but uh, we respect everyone but we focus on ourselves and when we go get on the field we get ready and prepared to compete no matter who is in front of us. And lastly you've got to ask as well the, the Watford's manager Vladimir Ivic is he someone I think he's someone you possibly played with internationally for a brief period possibly in, against Northern Ireland um, you were teammates with him briefly yeah. you've uh, come across him in your career? Yeah yeah we know each other uh, very good uh, very good uh, former teammate as a teammate and as a player, fantastic, fantastic guy. Uh, had a great career, and uh, later, as a, now as a coach, uh, he's doing great job. He did. He's a proven manager. He did a fantastic job in all the teams where he went in different countries. So yeah, it's going to be a, a difficult, difficult challenge for our team uh, with the, with him in charge of uh, Watford. But on the other side, we, as I said, we focus on ourselves and we'll be ready.